What's up? Welcome back to another video with Ember Family Entertaining. This video here is a personal message uh, that's going out to a YouTuber that I actually seen. That was uh, last night. I was watching the video. And to be honest with you, the way I seen the video was uh, we was watching YouTube last night and I was asleep. I fell asleep, me and my wife did. And when I woke up in the middle of the night, about 1230, her video was on. And her name is Official Jamia. Um, and we have a lot of YouTubers out there, including ourselves. Uh, we do a lot of YouTube. And so before I get into that, I want you guys to make sure that you like, share, leave a comment below. Even if you don't leave a comment below, this is a personal message to this young lady that I felt the need to reach out to and to encourage. I could have wrote a description down below in her comment section, but I want her to hear it coming straight from us. But make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to our channel, and make sure everything you do, pray, put God first in everything okay not just some things but everything and we pray that whatever this message is that it will bless our channel as well as Jamia Jamia channel and her family to be honest with you so but before I get into that man I want you guys to make sure that you be positive think positive live positive about the things that you do in life because it comes back to you man it comes back to you so but now I'm gonna get into this with Miss Jamil. I woke up and I heard this um, young lady talking, and to be honest with you, man, I did not know what it was about. But it was something that um, caught my attention. It really caught my attention, and it was a touching testimony that she was speaking about, and it was about becoming a homeowner and about some things that uh, was going on with uh the process even you know that put her in this position and jimmy i just want to share this with you you might not think that your videos is actually touching somebody but i listen at be love life that spoke about the same thing people that may think that you're not reaching anybody you'll be surprised who's who actually you're touching who your testimony is that really touching and we live in Alabama. Your testimony actually touched me, my wife, because I was telling her, I was like, I got to listen at that video again. And we just came in shortly ago and I pulled it up and me and her both sat and listened at your uh, testimony. And I can honestly say, man, I listen to a lot of YouTubers. You are a genuine person. I, am, I admire your, your will to speak the way you did especially acknowledging the Lord about your situation and the things that you've been through. But yet, like you said, you stay focused on the Lord. You prayed, prayer changes things. And the testimony that you gave was a proof to show that if you trust God, things will come through for you. If he bring you to it, he'll bring you through it. And that's what I really admire about you, man. It really touched me. It really touched me. And as I was sitting there watching it, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I had to kind of hold myself because I'm sitting up here like, man, I'm not. Look, she talking about she ain't finna shed tears. I'm not finna shed no tears, you know. <laughs> but it was a very it was a very moving testimony. And I admire you for that. Uh, because, see, like with us, we're new YouTubers. And, you know, I was just speaking this today that, you know, we don't have a lot of subscribers, okay? But let, let's look at it like this, Jamia. Regardless of your situation, regardless of what type of subscriber, the number of subscribers you got, what we have to understand is we serve a God, and with yourself as well, we serve a God, because listen to what you said, you sound like you serve the God I serve, that took two fish and five loaves of bread and fed over 5,000 people, okay? So that's when even people were saying, Lord, his disciples were saying at that time, Lord, how can we feed these people, but we only have two fish and five loaves of bread left? How can we do it? The Lord told him, Jesus told him, said, look, 
give me the food. And he blessed it. He blessed it. And after he blessed it, they were able to feed these people and have more and more and more extra left over. So my point is with this, just like he blessed that food, he blessing you, he blessing us. Other people may not see it, and it ain't meant always for other people to see the way God is blessing you. But he's still blessing you, and he's going to continue to bless you. Because when you acknowledge God in all your ways, acknowledge him. But first, like we always have to understand, we have to deny ourselves and pick up the cross and follow him. And once he begins to bless us, things begin to overflow. We begin to receive these overflows that we don't have enough room to receive it. Now, how can you say that? When it began to rain and it began to overflow the rivers, <clears throat> the water began to run out to the point it don't have no other, well, no other place to go. So that's how your blessings is running. Overflow. And I encourage you, man, to stay positive in what you're doing. You blessed my heart. You blessed my wife's heart. You blessing people. You blessing people. And with the God that you serve and the God that I serve, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that the things that you ask for in his name and your desires, he will fulfill it. Now, it did, he didn't say that it would not be a struggle. <clears throat> Because we will have our own struggles in life. We'll have our struggles. But Jamia, but just, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, even though you are on disability, even though your body gave out over that amount of years that you was doing hair, even though your sister is deaf, understand this, God is a God that can make a way through anything, anything. Okay? He is a good God. He is, sir, he's a man that cannot fail. He cannot fail. He ain't gonna fail you. He ain't gonna fail me. So I encourage you, Jamia, continue to hold on, continue to fight that fight that you're fighting. Do what you're supposed to do. Continue to give your time to the Lord every morning. Because one of the things about it is you the one got to stand before God in the end. Not nobody else. Don't worry about what other folks may say. Don't worry about what other folks may think. Because one thing about it, God going to stand. When everything else is gone, God's word is still going to stand. And I want to encourage you, Jamia. Continue to hold tight to your family. Continue to be that inspiration for others. Continue to speak out, use your testimony. I don't care how many times you gotta tell it. There may be somebody that might hear it this time that didn't hear it the last time. Continue to share it. Share it on Facebook. Share it wherever you can share it. Because see, the message is gonna be that God is a good God. And that God that you serve will bring you through it. And I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness to that. And I tell you, man, I, 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 I sat there and I listened at you and I listened at you talk and I seen the tears that begin to roll down your eyes, your face, and as you wipe the tears away, I'm thinking to myself like, this young lady is crying tears of joy. People may think that she's sad, but 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 you have to understand, this is tears of joy that you're feeling. Because see, one thing about it, when you mention, when you sit up and you mention the goodness of God and you can look back where he brought me from and look what he brought me through, that in itself will make anybody want to cry. That in itself make chills come over you because you feel You'll feel the spirit moving because you know if it wasn't for the goodness of God that reached back, pulled you through it, you wouldn't have it. And so that's what I'm saying to you today. Continue to push forward. Even when ain't nobody else around. One thing about it is 
when you said things was not as strong as you wanted it for yourself or credit, you got to understand, God always have a realm in that bush over there prepared and already ready, set for you. So when we sitting up and we thinking, we can't do it. We can't do How are we going to work it out? God said, continue to trust me. Continue to trust me. If you continue to trust me, I'll take care of you. He's taking care of you. He's taking care of us. So I'm encouraged by your testimony. And I wanted to speak to you directly through this video and let you know I'm encouraged by your testimony. This is not meant to get popularity. This video is not meant for popularity. This video is coming from my heart and my wife's heart, my family, from my family to yours. Wherever you are, we're reaching out to you basically to show our love and support for you. We commend you. And together, we will be successful. We have to show our love and support. I've never met you a day in my life. But when you talk about the goodness of God, that's one thing you have to understand. You will always have a relationship. Because if you can connect with the spirit of God, you got a connection. I've never seen you a day in my life in person. But just listening at your testimony makes me feel like I just met you last year been knowing you the whole time you got a beautiful spirit you have a beautiful spirit you and your daughter you guys continue to do what you're doing we'll continue to support you we'll continue to show our love towards you guys channel making sure that you guys know that we are supporting you and we'll continue to keep you guys in our prayers man and you guys please do the same thing for us with the Ember Family Entertaining Seven. And so you guys, please, please continue to push. We gonna push. All of us gonna be successful. We gonna make it. Until the next time, Jamil, y'all be good. God bless. Take care of yourself. Peace.